Hi guys and welcome to day number 19 of my 21 day YouTube challenge. Good to see you today. Um, I want to talk about the four levels of ourself. So I always teach in my Reiki classes uh, to start with um, the four levels of yourself. So you kind of assess and ask yourself a bit of questions to get into the energies and to tune into yourself, which makes sense because if you do something developing yourself, if you need guidance, the first thing I think is important to get to know yourself a bit better. So let's start with level number one. It's the, the physical body, which means um, everything you can see, you can touch like the organs and the skin and the bones and it's just a physical level. And the questions you can ask yourself are, am I treating my body right? How's my diet? Like how do I eat or drink? Am I drinking enough water? Am I exercising enough? I always recommend 30 minutes a day. You should at least sweat once a day. Move your body and drink plenty of water, like two and a half, three liters a day. Then um, you, got, you can ask yourself, how do I treat my body in case of sleep and rest? Do I honor my body when I'm tired? Um, and when I'm tired, do I eat to compensate? What do I do instead of resting when I'm tired? Um, and, and how do I know when my body is tired and needs to rest, like a nap? Or how many hours of sleep do you get? Is it enough? So it's not only about the moving part, the exercises. It's about sleeping and resting as well. The diet and the drinking part, once you start something, make sure that you finish it. Because every unfinished project or task is draining energy out of your physical body. Okay, that's level number one. Level number two is your mental body or your thoughts, your belief system, systems, um, your brain. Yeah, whatever you're thinking during the day, whatever you're gonna believe in, whatever um, belief systems you carry along, ask yourself if the belief systems you believe in, if they serve you, do they belong to you and are they the truth? Because sometimes we have belief systems we carry along from our parents or grandparents because they always say, you know, you have to work very hard to earn money. You have to work like crazy hours to have, a, have enough money at the beginning of the month. And um, if you eat lots of fats or if you eat lots of sweets, you, you, you're going to gain weight. You're going to be fat like this. So it's not true. Whatever is going on in your head and always keep in mind your thoughts create your life. So if you assess your thoughts, are they positive? What do I think the whole day? And when I feel drained or tired or sad or aggressive, what thoughts do I think? And what emotions do I create with my thoughts? And how do I think about other people? Like how is my judgment about myself? How do I think about myself? How do I think about my work, my business, my friends, my partner, my family, my parents. Check where you have negativity, negative thoughts, where you create negative emotions. And always check on your belief systems. Whenever you repeat a sentence or a thought, write these thoughts down or these belief systems and um, well try to rewrite them in something positive because you know some 
belief systems, they don't serve us anymore because they don't belong to us. We just catch them from our parents or we repeat a pattern our family has taught us and it's not our truth anymore. So just check whatever your parents or your family, wherever you're grown up, um, these belief systems, just double check. Okay, level number three is um, your emotional level. And this is kind of tricky because the questions you can ask yourself are, am I happy? And usually that question is um, kicking inside something, you know, it's, it's digging stuff up and usually we don't feel very comfortable with this question. Or if you're like, yeah, of course, I'm happy, well done, congratulations, this is amazing. Um, then you just need to figure out um, and live your emotions and be happy, but make sure that you give your negative emotions enough space as well. For the people who have trouble like answering the question, if you're happy, are you showing your happiness? Are you living your joy and happiness? And can you show people when you're actually happy? Um, and you, you, you kind of have troubles with this, then ask yourself why, who has done the same? Are you repeating a pattern? Why can't you be happy or show your happiness? Where have you lost it? And just make sure that you kind of detect where is it coming from or why aren't you happy? And then you can check the other levels as well. Where's the unhappiness uh, coming from or where is the self-doubt or self-sabotage or the negativity coming from? You can check this with the questioning of the other levels. If you have trouble showing your negative emotions, like crying in front of others or showing your um, anger or aggression, well, you can start doing this by yourself at home. I always recommend one evening a week you put in your diary and you just sit with your emotions and let them come up. It's like 20 minutes, half an hour, you can cry, you can scream, you can, you know, punch your cushion or go out for a run or walk. Just live your emotions and make sure that positive emotions and negative emotions, you, you just live them and let them out. Then the emotional level is kind of balanced and uh, happy. And then we have level number four, which is your spiritual level, your soul. And then please ask yourself if you feel a belonging to something, if you trust in something. I'm not talking about like God or angels or um, archangels, masters. We all believe in something else and the divine source or wherever you be, your soul belongs to or is coming from. Just believe in that. Um, you don't have to be religious. You don't have to be really high, highly spiritual. It's just please ask yourself if you have a feeling of I belong to something, have a feeling of I'm connected to something. Something is guiding me. I have a good relationship with my intuition, with my higher self, with a divine source, with God, whatever. Just have a relationship with yourself and something beyond you um, can see or something beyond your belief system, which is like a spiritual source. And then make sure that you do stuff. Ask yourself, what makes my soul or my heart smile? What is it I really want coming again, to the, your life's purpose. What is the lesson I want to learn in this life? What am I made for? What is my, you know, life's purpose? And what do I really crave in this lifetime doing? It can be a hobby. It can be integrated in your job or in your personal life. 
in your relationships what do you crave for I always make sure that you feed your soul with spiritual stuff I always recommend meditation praying spiritual workshops spiritual retreats um, YouTube channels you you just get some spirituality in your life and if you're interested in spirituality check my previous videos because I am here my message is this is my life's purpose um, getting people in the same boat in a kind of holistic alternative spiritual boat and sharing um, spirituality and love and getting more spirituality in your life and awakening your spirit inside so that's my gift I hope you like the video I hope the information about the the four levels of your being um, were interesting um, and give me a thumbs up if you like it and please subscribe to my channel I'm gonna see you tomorrow